How do you introduce yourself? Um, <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm Ida Siyasoko. I am an artist and a makeup artist. And today I will be getting real while doing my skincare and makeup. I wanted to try a graphic liner, a colorful graphic liner look. Just a pop of color, a little light in a dark world char. Whenever I do my makeup, Shepra first I clean my face, I wash it, and I've already washed my face with my facial wash and water. I usually use a toner then after my facial cleanser. Dahil wala akong cotton pads. Naubusan po tayo at hindi po tayo makakabili. So I just pat it. I know that's not how you use a toner. Skincare people, please do not come at me. And then the next thing I do is I moisturize my face. This is a white moisturizer, but it's now cream pinkish color. I added a cream highlighter. So whenever I would want to wear just moisturizer on my face, um, there's sparkles. I also moisturize my lips. I don't wear foundation. Uh, it's not for me. I don't think it is, especially in this kind of weather. Nah, very humid and I have really oily skin. Even though I use the mattifying ones, I don't really like it. It's so heavy and sticky and thick. Uh, no. X. Okay. So I use just a concealer to conceal um, the few points. This is the Sem Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. Pero for the eye bags, for me, I mean, um, thankfully, I don't have too dark of under eye happenings. I just need one dot and it covers the whole thing. Under my nose, it's pretty red. And oh no, it doesn't look bad in real life. It looks so um, bright and unmatched on camera. It's so hard to do your makeup while talking. I just usually blast on some music and do my makeup. But for today, because you are my friends, I will share what I am doing. This is the Caroline Contour Stick. I was um, fortunate enough to have a kit sent by them. So I usually do my jaw area because it's kind of Bilog, my face, um, cheekbones area, my nose bridge, cause she has none, and then I'm gonna use a brush to blend it all out. I just blend it in a circular motion. You see, there. Okay, it doesn't remove what I put. It just blends it. This is just a regular drugstore mattifying powder. And I focus on the parts na I know are very oily. So that's under eyes, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. After the powder, I go over the contour with my trusty bronzer. So I just use a fluffy brush that's different from my powder brush. And just go over. And then for the nose area, I just use a smaller angled brush and then I go over it. So I don't really have like a tall nose. I just make it look like I do. The power of makeup, right? So the next part is one of my favorite parts, the eyebrows. Um, whenever I see a makeup look, I always look at the eyebrows first. I have no idea why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next step, I draw on my eyebrows. This is the Strokes Brow Painter in Ash Brown. It gives a more precise 
look strokes 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 okay i usually start on the outer tip that if that's what it's called just make random light strokes towards the front it's hard to explain how i do my makeup period okay from the same brand strokes i use this microblade pen perfector in graphite it's a dark gray shade and i use it to complete yung mga spaces talaga in areas na super kailangan uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay that's good my left eyebrow needs more help it's from the same brand it's from strokes it's called the brow fixer in clear to try and i really love their products oh, 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 oh. i have my palettes here they are both from colourpop this is the cute af palette i've been wanting it for a long time and here it is going coconuts it's a brown ish palette with shimmer using a light brown shade and putting that on the crease thank you for watching me try okay so i think that's so i'm just going to fill everything in with this beige shade now i'm going for the colorful stuff they make a lot of these in different color palettes colorways this is acid trip it's a neon set since it's water activated i usually just have a spray bottle so i just spray that and then get a bit of color and yep okay mm -hmm. it's a lot harder to do on myself than it is to other people there <gasps> so cute okay just to line the green a bit here on the outer corner just wipe it out mm -hmm. so there's that yes yes I don't know how I did it, but I did. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry for a bit before I do my lashes. Pre-pandemic, I would do this on a normal day and it would be one of the most freeing moments to be able to express myself that way. I've been told that I shouldn't express myself this way so i could avoid weird stares from other people as if expressing yourself in an artistic way is bad why do i have to adjust for other people so i'm gonna do my lashes real quick just curl them up and then apply a quick mascara it's so cool that we have makeup to further express ourselves to put blush that's the next step and i usually just put on my cheekbones most of the time people i work with are very open to new things and different things or I ask them what they're comfortable with and okay na yun. Pads na. I started wearing makeup uh, a lot in 2014. It was a freeing, liberating experience. 
because yun nga, I got to extend my art form to my face. Other people would paint canvases, other people would do digital art, and I would paint faces. This is another local brand called Cray, Cray Cosmetics, and they sent me a collection. This is A minus, and I'm gonna use it. So, middle. Last but not least, we are not yet done. I am going to use more highlight, more sparkles on my face. I really think that we should all just freely express ourselves and nobody can tell us otherwise. I think this is my finished look. It's been fun to learn new things while doing my makeup alone. Real, real friends. Again, I'm Ida Siyosoko. I am at Ida Siyosoko everywhere, Twitter, Instagram, at Ida Paint Faces. That's my makeup portfolio if you want to check it out. Thank you. Bye.